I first saw Scotty Young's art in this X-Men issue, one of his earliest Marvel work. It reminded me of graffiti artists. That issue is drawn by different artists, and Carrie Andrews has a similar style, but with much more detail and exaggeration. Carrie won that battle in my opinion, especially when you look at the cover. Next time I saw Scotty's work, he was at his best in my opinion. This style. Let's call it Dirty Paper Sam Keith, which is awesome. You can see him evolve into this style in the new X-Men issues. At first it's still that clean, kind of anime Umberto Ramos inspired style, but then from one issue to the next, it becomes this loose, throw out the ruler and release the crazy colorist with some cool lighting and dirty overlay effects. Awesome stuff that I can't get enough of, it just makes me want to pick up my pencil. It's so gutsy and it feels quick, though I'm sure a lot of effort goes into it. He kept developing his style though. Soon after that there was the Eisner Award winning Oz style. And then after that, probably his most popular one, let's call it the uh, x Babies style. But the one I'm going to try today is the daily sketch one. The style in these is the thick outline and then thin lined details like for hair or the same thin lines for shading or textures like in the dude's robe here. And they are drawn using these three tools. You can go old school and use a blue pencil, ink, brush and nib or a blue lead mechanical pencil, a brush tip pen and microns, which is what I'll do today. The anatomy he uses for those warm-ups is a cartoony exaggerated style. Kind of like his ex-babies, but sometimes even more extreme. So let's have some fun. I think Scotty hasn't drawn lion -O from Thundercats yet. Let me know if I'm wrong. For some reason I just couldn't make the legs as skinny as he does, although it would have added to the comic effect, I think. And on to the inking. I'll let this run real time. I hadn't seen Thundercats in about 25 years. Warp gas. I thought the Interstellar Council ruled against warp gas. <laughs> when did the mutants ever go by the rules? Rules are only meaningful if people agree to follow them. Otherwise, they're just words. Interesting stuff. I do have one vivid Thundercat memory. Since the show ran from 1985 to 1989, I must have been between 8 or 12 years old. And uh, I was on my bike. The first time for me to go to the post office by myself and I got lost. And uh, yeah, I called on the Saint of Jaga to guide my hand. And I realized I had to cross the train tracks and go right, not go right in front of the train tracks. So thank you, Jaga. It would be funny if I was actually a 12 year old nerd <laughs> calling on the Saint of Jaga, which is highly possible. But uh, let's say I was, <laughs> I was nine or 10. You should listen before you rush off headlong. But Jaga, sometimes you can save time by waiting and finding out all there is to learn about a situation.
And here we go! Thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! Oh! This was actually my second try. I messed up the filming on the first try, which had this result. And uh, I kind of like the glove better in that one, but I like the hair on the second one. Anyways, another fun practice. Scotty Young has this style down to a T. I definitely need to work on my brush control and knowing where and how much to hatch with the Micron. Drop a like if you like the results. Let me know what you think in the comments and catch you next time!